We're just going to hack off the top and put a straw in here. And we got ourselves some orange juice. I like that in order to get to or leave the room, you got to move an entire palm. <laughs> I like the coconut tree outside our room. I think if I shake this tree, I might turn into Isaac Newton. I don't know. Oh, this is brilliant. What's going on? Beach. Beach hair, don't hair. <laughs> Sand castle looks like poop. Now we go this way. We're at this magnificent place, the Sunshine Shack. They have barbecues and stuff. But we're gonna hang out and have a drink. All right, I need a lime. I gotta put it in one of those. This is a golf resort that has bocce. There's the bocce. Fancy cigars. So this particular red stripe looks like, I mean, obviously it's a Jamaican beer, right? And my favorite bottle ever, but it looks like this one has been imported from Trinidad, and it also has Dutch written on it, which I think is really cool. I gotta say, this simple lobby bar probably has the best burger I've ever had. Certainly up there. These are like little pools, and I guess flow into the large pool. Huh. That lady was about to give us free drinks over there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Now we're gonna head over to the Dune Preserve. It looks pretty crowded. I think there's a show going on. And right here, we assume, is the home of Banky Banks. Doom Preserve is beach bar restaurant performance area venue. Excited as I am.
nice sunset here. Very nice. So what just happened? That was cool. We're getting up to like start leaving and take pictures with the driftwood chairs and the baggy bags comes up to us. He's like, I want to meet my guests. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm like, oh, New York. Can we get a picture with you? And he's like, sure. <laughs> Guy's a legend. So it seemed like there was a guy that just started playing the piano, some random... A random, a random guy just started playing the piano, and then Banky came up and just started playing with him. I thought that was pretty cool. The sunset. The sunset. It's pretty. It is. This is the life, man. What are you doing? I'm using a flashlight to walk to the next resort. Okay, because as you can tell, it's it's pitch dark, and it's uh, it's it's exciting. I gotta say. <laughs> So that's the sand right now, and we're gonna head to those lights over there. That green light over there is, <laughs> you know what? It doesn't matter, you can't tell. But over there is St. Martin, the French side. There's a yacht over there. This is a fancy place. It looks like there's a road going to the sky. Walk towards the light. Well, we are the light apparently. The only Wi-Fi we can get is from the next resort that we're sort of, sort of stealing it. Don't tell anybody. But now we just told everybody. Uh -oh. All right, never mind. Hey, look at that. <laughs> you can see this place. This is where we were hanging out before. It's the Sunshine Grill, I think it's called. And all the license plates are reflecting. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Awesome place to hang out, man. It really is. I'm good? Yes. Good. Good. Good view too. Oh. Can't see it. No, but it, trust me, it's good. <laughs> was it a good night? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Eating. Yeah. We just sort of realized we didn't show the room all that much. Well, it's this kind of room. So, I mean, we got a nice king size bed. It's a lot bigger than what we're used to. <laughs> um, we got a lamp here. You see? That's a lamp. Uh, there's a chair. Chairs are nice. Got a little refrigerator. Very large bathroom. Let's see? Woo! Overall, I think it's a lot of space for two people. So it's certainly bigger than your average hotel room. And sort of when I think of living in the Caribbean, I sort of think of a room like this. I don't know why. What did you think when you first walked in? It's very yellow. <laughs> yeah, this is a yellow house. And across the way, is a, is a blue house. So I'm assuming all the decor in that house over there that you can't really see is blue. Clea the travel monkey has had quite a day. He's still recovering from travel here. Another good thing about coming to Anguilla from St. Martin is um, you can collect a lot of passport stamps. I'll show you. So once we landed into St. Martin, we got this one. Makes sense, St. Martin. The airport is on the Dutch side. You can tell because the stamp says St. Martin in Dutch. And then we left St. Martin on the French side and we got this one. And it says St. Martin in the French way. And once we got into Anguilla, we got this one. So we got three passport stamps in the matter of, what, less than an hour altogether? So there you go. And tomorrow we probably will get two more. <laughs> which is pretty funny. So, a lot of passport stamps. If you're coming here a lot, you probably need some extra pages on your passport. <laughs> 